Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to upload a new theme in PrestaShop. So to start, simply download your theme. As you can see, I downloaded mine here. Note that when you download your theme, it should actually download in an archived format. For example, mine is in a zipped format and this is the format that a PrestaShop theme should be in. Now if your browser unarchives files automatically upon download, you're going to actually want to look into changing those settings. For example, Safari in my case actually uh, unarchives files upon download. And to take care of this, I actually had to go to Safari Preferences. And I had to make sure that this box was unchecked, which is open save files after downloading. So you're going to want to look into your browser. I don't know if other browsers do this. I actually downloaded this file with Safari. So I wouldn't know what to tell you exactly, but if Internet Explorer does do that, you're going to want to look into uh, disabling that feature. Then simply go to your admin panel, and then simply go to Preferences and Themes. And now simply go to Add New Theme, and simply add the file. So I'm going to locate the file on my computer. and then simply click on save. So as you can see I got the error file is too big and this is mainly because my web host doesn't allow me to uh, upload files that are larger than 8 megabytes. For those of you that did not get this error you can actually move on to the next step but for those of you that did get this error to fix this I can either add a php.ini file and I can raise the upload max file size limit and post max size limit or what I can do is I can actually upload the theme in the archive format directly to my themes directory and then install the theme from there. Of course, even if you didn't get an error, actually uploading the file through an FTP client is actually a lot faster than uploading through the admin interface. So what I'll do now is I'll open up my FTP client and I'll locate the theme on my computer, which is right here. And then I'll go to my themes directory where PrestaShop is located, which is right here. And I'll simply upload this file to my themes directory. So as you can see, my file has finished uploading. So now what I do is I go back to my PrestaShop admin panel. And what I do is I go back to preferences and themes. And I go back to add new theme. And now from here, from the select the archive, I simply select the file, which is right here. And then I click on save. And as you can see, it says successful upload. So the theme has been uploaded successfully. But since I'm a very cautious person, what I like to do is I like to follow up on PrestaShop and make sure that everything was installed correctly. Because from past experiences when uploading a theme, I actually had some files added to the wrong directory. So what I'll do is I'll locate the theme that I downloaded on my computer. And then what I'll do is I'll unzip that file. And I'll inspect the folders that are in this directory. And that is the modules folder and the themes folder. So as you can see, I got both files for themes and I had some uh, modules installed. So now what I'll do is I'll get my FTP client and I'll simply make sure that all of those files are there in the modules directory first and as you can see all of these uh, folders start with CS so yes I do have them here so everything was added correctly as far as modules are concerned and then for themes I will look into the themes directory And yes, everything was added correctly here as well, since the theme matches the name. And now what I do is I simply look at the theme, and it's right here. And I simply click on Use This Theme. And now it's asking me whether I want to uh, enable the modules that the theme came with. So I simply select which modules I want to uh, install. And same goes for these other modules here which modules do I wish to enable and which modules do I wish to disable. Note that this of course depends on the theme. 
So if the theme came with instructions, you're going to want to look into which modules you should activate and which modules you should deactivate because uh, a lot of the themes actually work with some new modules and some old modules that initially came with PrestaShop might have actually been uh, depreciated and for that reason you might actually have to disable those. So again, you will need to look into that because uh, again, these modules will uh, help make your uh, store look the way it should with this new theme installed. And as you can see, you can also use modules from the old default uh, bootstrap theme. Personally, I'll just leave all of this checked off because uh, this video is only demonstrating how to install a theme. So whether that lo theme looks exactly the way it should doesn't really matter. The point here is that you understand how to install a theme and what to do after you install that theme. So I will simply click on save. And as you can see, I will need to regenerate the images for this theme. So I will go to the thumbnails regeneration page here. And I'll simply go down to where it says regenerate thumbnails. And I'll simply click this button here. And I'll click OK. And the thumbnails were uh, successfully regenerated. And I'll go back to my site. And now I should have my new theme installed. So here is my new theme. And as I said, this will need to be modified so that it looks right. I will leave things as is for now because uh, this is for demonstration purposes. Again, if you install the new theme, you're going to want to look into the settings of those themes and into the instructions that came with that theme. So other than that, I hope you uh, found this video tutorial useful. And uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.